This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Today is the day when we think about one of the apostles, Thomas. Uh, let's read the scriptures together. Psalm 92. It is a good thing to give thanks to the Lord and sing praises to your name, O Most High, or to tell of your love early in the morning and your faithfulness in the night time. Upon the ten-stringed instrument, upon the harp, and to the melody of the lyre, for you, Lord, have made me glad by your acts, and I sing aloud at the work of your hands. O Lord, how glorious are your works! Your thoughts are very deep. The senseless do not know, nor do fools understand, that though the wicked sprout like grass, and the workers of iniquity flourish, it is only to be destroyed forever. But you, O Lord, shall be exalted for evermore. For lo, your enemies, O Lord, lo, your enemies shall perish, and all the workers of iniquity shall be scattered. But my horn you have exalted like the horns of a wild oxen. I am anointed with fresh oil. My eyes will look down on my foes. My ears will hear the ruin of the evildoers who rise up against me. The righteous shall flourish like a palm tree and shall spread abroad like a cedar of Lebanon. Such as are planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. They shall still bear fruit in old age. They shall be vigorous and in full leaf, that they may show that the Lord is true. He is my rock, and there is no unrighteousness in him. We worship the Lord even though the evil people seem to prosper now. We know that their end will come. Um, yet we will remain vigorous throughout our life, always serving the Lord. We give him thanks for his goodness to us. Psalm 146. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, O my soul. While I live, I will praise the Lord. As long as I have my being, I will sing praises to my God. Put not your trust in princes, nor in any human power, for there is no help in them. When their breath goes forth, they return to the earth. On that day, all their thoughts perish. Happy are those who have the God of Jacob for their help, whose hope is in the Lord their God, who made heaven and earth, the sea and all that is in them, who keeps his promise forever, who gives justice to those that suffer wrong and bread to those who hunger. The Lord looses those that are bound and opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves righteousness. The Lord watches over the stranger in the land. And he upholds the orphan and the widow. But the way of the wicked he turns upside down. The Lord shall reign forever. Your God, O Zion, throughout all generations. Alleluia. Well, we give thanks to God for his goodness in our lives and we make sure that this day we worship him. 2 Samuel chapter 15 verses 17 to 21 and this what's happened here is Absalom the king's son has usurped his father and King David has been chased out of Jerusalem. So the king left followed by all the people and they stopped at the last house. All his officials passed by him including 600 Gittites who had followed him from Gath passed on before the king. Then the Lord said to Ittiah, the Gittite, Why are you coming with us? Go back and stay with the king, for you are a foreigner and also an exile from your home. You only came yesterday. And shall I make you wander about with us while I go wherever I can? Go back and take your kinsfolk with you, and may the Lord show steadfast love and faithfulness to you. But Ittiah answered the king, As the Lord lives, and as my, king, my lord the king lives, Wherever my lord the king may be, whether for life or death, there also your servant will be. We'll come on to Itaias' loyalty in a moment or two after the New Testament reading. And the New Testament reading is John 11 verses 1 to 16. Now a certain man was ill, Lazarus of Bethany, the village of Mary and her sister Martha. Mary was the one who anointed the Lord with perfume and wiped his feet with her hair. Her brother Lazarus was ill, so the sisters sent a message to Jesus, Lord, he whom you love is ill. But when Jesus heard it, he said, This illness does not lead to death, 
rather it is for God's glory, so that the Son of Man may be glorified through it. Accordingly, though Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus, having heard that Lazarus was ill, he stayed two days longer in the place where he was. Then after this he said to his disciples, Let us go to Judea again. And the disciples said to him, Rabbi, the Jews were just now trying to stone you, and you are going there again? And Jesus answered, Are there not twelve hours of daylight? Those who walk during the day do not stumble, because they see the light of this world. But those who walk at night stumble, because the light is not in them. After saying this, he told them, Our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep, but I am going there to awaken him. The disciples said to him, Lord, if he has fallen asleep, he will be all right. Jesus, however, had been speaking about his death, but they thought that he was referring merely to sleep. Then Jesus told them plainly, Lazarus is dead. For your sake I am glad I was not there, so that you may believe. Let us go to him. Thomas, who is called the twin, said to his fellow disciples, Let us also go, that we may die with him. Both Thomas and Itaiah showed a loyalty to the one who, the, who they followed. Itaiah to David and uh, Thomas to our Lord. May we be those who are loyal to serve God through good times and bad times when he blesses us and calls us to times of comfort and when we're in the heat of the battle and the way that he leads us is hard and difficult. Let's be those who are determined to follow him in every circumstance. And so Lord we lift up this day and we pray that you will establish your word as it is preached from pulpits around the world. Lord, we pray for ministers of the gospel today, that, Lord, we will know your anointing and your power upon our weakness. In Jesus' name. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. <laughs>